married you. Why did Mont let me go? I'm a risk to him now. Because you said it was a bargain. No you, no me. What was my part in all this? I want to know. You were a pawn in the plot. London knew it was no good just killing Fiedler. If he'd been killed, people would have started asking by whom, why. Maybe he told friends he suspected Mont. Maybe he'd left notes, incriminating notes. London had to eliminate suspicion. Public rehabilitation, that's what they organized for Mont. I was sent to discredit him, he was sent to discredit me. And love? You made it very easy for them. They used us. They cheated us both because it was necessary. Fiedler was nearly home already. If it hadn't been for us, Munt would have been killed. They were bloody clever. All the way down the line, they were bloody clever. Clever? They were foul. How can you turn the world upside down? What rules are you playing? There's only one rule. Expediency. Munt gives London what it needs, so Fiedler dies and Munt lives. It was a foul, foul operation, but it paid off. Who for? What the hell do you think spies are? Moral philosophers measuring everything they do against the word of God or Karl Marx? They're not. They're just a bunch of seedy, squalid bastards like me. Little men, drunkards, queers, henpecked husbands, civil servants playing cowboys and Indians to brighten their rotten little lives. Do you think they sit like monks in a cell, balancing right against wrong? Yesterday I would have killed Munt, because I thought him evil and an enemy, but not today. Today he's evil and my friend. London needs him. They need him so that the great moronic masses you admire so much can sleep soundly in their flea-bitten beds again. They need him for the safety of ordinary, crummy people like you and me. You killed Fiedler. How big does a cause have to be before you kill your friends? What about your party? There's a few million bodies on that path. 